Okay. Hello there, friend. It's been a bit. Hello. It's been a little bit of time. Hello. I know. I know. How's your time away been? You know what? It was, um, it was good. We, we, um, took a, we took a week. We were going to travel and we decided we, we best not given the COVID, 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 COVID things. And so we is decided it like to a just... co COVID. Is it, is it <laughs> COVID? COVID, COVID. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so we stayed home and we had a staycation for the first time ever. And it was really great. Oh, good. Actually. So, yeah. Did you have fires you? and snow and everything? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> it is snowing quite a little bit here today actually i really? we are in the middle i should i should turn my camera we're in a beautiful like like harry potter i just can like see a little snow. bit in the mirror like just it looks oh, like yeah. a fake oh, yeah. tree no, there with like light fake. on it <laughs> yeah so yeah how about you what's what's new <sighs> well my daughter has fled the country Oh, literally fled the coop. <laughs> literally fled the country. So she's in South Korea and oh she's doing great. So far, so good. She's out of quarantine and now she's running around getting ready for her classes to oh my start. Gosh. So exciting. And it's cold there too. So she got to see some snow oh. and show me some pictures from her quarantine window. And, it <laughs> and when she was stressed, she said, I watched the snow fall. I'm like, you got this girl. Yeah, she's going to um, great. And then my dad just moved from one home to another. So very big. Yeah, and it's very close and very nice. And he was very happy. And we had a <laughs> very, very, very nice time. So I'm ready to, you know, I wish we were outside here too, because we'd be sitting by the pool. Oh. It's the eight, low 80s right now, blue sky. It's supposed to, in the next couple hours, get around 78, 79. Oh, oh my gosh, Kathy. Next okay, time I'm... you guys don't staycation, you just come down. Of course, you could also <laughs> clean my house for me. Then you can stay in the extra bed. <laughs> we, um, I will tell you that it has warmed up here. I'm showing you my phone. It now is five degrees. Oh it feels gosh. like 10 below, but it, this is like considerably warm. Wasn't it, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it really warm last week or something? Yeah, it was yeah, like, it looked like when I was looking at the map, I'm like, yeah. it's like went from like <laughs> 40s to, you know, a snowstorm or something. Yeah, it's been or very maybe strange. 50s. In the, yeah. yeah, it's been very strange. But listen, we're here. We're back we're together. Here. After a little we're minute. We're doing our G.O.B. Rex. I know. And I is... loved my book. So I... I'm sure you... I am starting to just look forward to this episode so much. I actually mm. have um, three books I'm auditioning already for next month. Like I'm just, oh. I, I am so, I don't want to tell you, but I think I better because I'm worried we'll pick the same one. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out or okay. I can tell you what I pick and you can see, say no, because you've got three and I don't have <laughs> one yet. So. <laughs> All right. So who's going first today? You are going first. I am going first. Okay. Yes. I'm going to show you this gorgeous book. It's called the Christie <gasps> Affair. Oh, yeah. It I is such a pretty cover. Um, <laughs> Wait, hold it up closer because. Okay. Oh. Look, yeah. I even grabbed some pearls, but they looked really stupid yeah. over my giant sweater. <laughs> no. But um, nice. I had heard about this book coming out. It's The author is Nina D. Gramont. Mm -hmm. And um, I already know that one. I dictated it to her. Just kidding. Oh. I've not had an affair, but I'm like, what? <laughs> Hello. I'm not quick enough. That's the my Christy name. Affair. It was just your birthday. I'm just saying. And it's even spelled like me. I know it is. Isn't it such a cool? I think you yes. need to have a, a birthday party like with a 1920s theme. Just to... oh, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. um, we got a year to plan. I had my that's time. right that's right it was just christy's birthday so everyone if you didn't see on social media you can, it's not too late to wish her happy birthday yeah <laughs> i got um, a lot of good wishes it was nice I, I know you did it was great um so listen i want to tell you that this book it's it is it is loosely about agatha christie the real life mystery about what happened when she was missing for 11 days but not like stringently about that. But that is why I was interested in it. Before we get that though, let's talk wine because we need to do a cheers. So I chose, yes. I chose a wine I've, I've chosen before. I chose Starboro. They okay. laugh at me because 
I love no, this I line. was almost, I saw that today when I was like, looking. oh, really? So I, um, but I was I like, this. I think, I, you know, yeah, I yeah. know you do. It's and a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I always have it in my pantry or my wine cabinet. I always do. And given and that the, was good because it was last minute. It You're was. Like, oh and, my and given gosh, do we weather, have time? <laughs> I didn't want to go to the liquor store. And so I was like, I, I know exactly what I'm going to pick for today because and, and it goes with my game anyway. So, oh, good. So, um, and I, I, uh, this book play, get, um, takes place in the 1920s. It's historical fiction, historical mystery. Um, it takes place in, in England and um, in Ireland. Oh, okay. And so I chose um, the food that I would pair with it. I chose, you know, I love finding new food bloggers. Like I just absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. I chose um, something kind of Irish related. And for March, um, I chose a hot Reuben dip. Oh, I love that a Reuben. sounds really good. I yeah. didn't use pastrami. I used corned beef, okay. but I, I love a Reuben. And the, I made the dip the other night for my parents and they really liked it a lot. Oh, yum. Um, and I will, will, of course, put the link in, but the, um, the food blogger is called Culinary Hill. Um, and it's really a great website. And I've been totally diving in big time. Are you saying Hill? Yeah. Culinary okay. Hill, H-I-L-L. -L. Okay. And um, anyway, it was very good. I can test. So, it, you know, we have such a good like book club, like um, yeah. appetizer to serve. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah that so would good. go with everything goes with Sauvignon Blanc, right? It does. Which, by the so, way, can we go ahead and have a sip? While yeah, you're... can we have a cheers? Cheers mm -hmm. to your cheers. birthday. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> I see that was a cool effect. Too. If you look on YouTube, you can see the camera light. Reflecting. Oh, interesting. I don't have mine on. I didn't realize I had mine on until I did that. <laughs> the snow was illuminating everything here, so it's fine. Um, okay, so I'll tell you about this book. So it's really, I, I actually ordered it. I pre-ordered it. I had read about it. I, I can't remember where a long a month a couple months ago maybe. Um, Did it, how recent is it? It very. It just okay. came out. It just came out. And since I ordered it, I had seen um, um, that uh, Reese's book club picked it up. But oh, I had even okay. read about it before that, and I just am fascinated by this whole Agatha Christie thing. And so I mm -hmm. want to know what your thoughts are about are you like a huge Agatha Christie person, or like do you. Um, I read a lot of Agatha Christie, probably high school time, you yeah. know, when I was young. Um, but I haven't in years and years and years. I mean, I like her name. And of course, she's <laughs> is the best thing about her. <laughs> yeah. And she I mean, it's obviously she's been <laughs> instrumental. And I mean, she's a woman. I mean, what can't you well, like about her? I mean, but I don't know much about her as a person so that's why i'm very curious when yeah. you said she was missing for 11 days yes. i mean so that's true i yes it's a fa and i had read about this before there's been um a lot of things written about it and I, I had read about it i'll be honest with you i have not read very much agatha christie and i'm mm -hmm. kind of mortified about that because i'm a mystery writer like i and I love well, it's them. really, really old before our time, kind of, you know, but so that's why so I said present. I might have read a few. Yeah. I mean, I knew, you know, but yeah. But then I was like, eh. well, so uh, so I it's on my list. I, I, I would like then to I jumped just... into Stephen King. That's what happened. <laughs> well, that would do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here's here's what I find fascinating about Agatha Christie is that she's still, by the way, the best selling novelist of all time really mm -hmm. the best-selling novelist of all wow. time wow uh, and a woman which i think right. is very fascinating from you know the past century like not right so i think that's amazing mm -hmm. um and she and you know movies are still being made there's a new one coming out um i think there's a murder on the nile coming out here just in like the, the next few weeks or something i've seen advertisements uh -huh. for it um she was so well known so in in the middle of i think it was 19, december of 1926 mm -hmm. i think that's correct she went missing for 11 days and it was a huge scandal like people turned out in droves to search for her including other big authors of the time i mean it's fascinating how old was and, she at that time 
I she I'm gonna guess she was in her. Well, let's ask Connor to Google that quick. I would guess 20, late twenties, thirties. Um, she had okay. a child. She had five books out at that point. So she was well known, but not like huge Agatha Christie information, you know, at that point. Mm -hmm. But uh, the and and the um, she was it was like a media sensation. They were constantly following up, and you know, on the front cover of all of the newspapers across the world. It was wow, like that's so funny because it's that like crazy? way before there was you know she was she 36. was thirty six. Thank okay. you, Connor. Yeah. And so um, yeah, I just uh, anyway, so I was I was fascinated by that. Um, and, and by the way, she even wrote her own autobiography. She, she never gave up what happened to her. And so here's what we do know. We do know that her husband, just that um, very recently prior to her disappearance had told her he was um, leaving her and he had a mistress. She checked, in, they did find her ultimately at like a spa like hotel and mm -hmm. she checked in under the mistress's name. Ah! That's so good. I, I, so I just, I'm even more in love with her now. The more reason I've read about this, I just think she's very spicy. Yeah. Um, um, so anyway, so the book is, that's kind of loosely based upon in that time, but it's mm -hmm. actually, it's totally a fictionalized account. It's not one of the theories about what happened to her. Mm -hmm. And I think people need to know that because if you're looking for one of the theories, this is not that. This is a fictionalized account of um, the situation, but from um, the mistress's point of view, not the real mistress that he had, a, a fictionalized mistress. Okay. And it's about what kind of difficulties she had in her life. It includes so it's lots of good history, including, had you ever heard of the, I know you love Ireland, all things Ireland. Um, and then it's um, includes information about the Magdalene laundries. Had you ever heard about those, the kind of workhouses that women were sent to that were run by the Catholic church. If they were prostitutes or they got married i mean got pregnant, pregnant. on marriage mm -hmm. right yeah and like horrible atrocities happened at these things. oh like, i know there's another movie about that oh my god i mean there's a movie about that Not yeah another well i think movie. Yeah, maybe it's and, based on a book i don't know well I just, and recently i, I just had i googled it because i i, I kind of knew but kind of didn't and there's been a lot of recent been like in the last 30 years maybe kind of revelations about how horrible like they found um, unknown graves with lots I know, and lots of it's horrible. Oh. Yeah. So that's in this book as well. So it's just, she does a beautiful job of kind of going back and forth between what happened to her in her young Irish days, this mistress, to the current time when Agatha is missing. And then there's additional a murder in there. So it's just a very oh, fun. This sounds really like a fun, fun read. Book. Yeah. So I, um, it was an easy GOB Rex, no question. Um, okay. It's not a super long book. It's only 300 pages. So again, it kind of is an easier in if you're struggling uh -huh. with maybe a short term, like shorter attention span. You know, I think people right. are. Oh, yeah. We're That's like what month. we were talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the movie is Philomena. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but it I've was not a really seen good that. movie. It was a really good movie. Is it like a fictional I mean, it's stuck account? in me that enough that I remember. Um, I, I seem to think it was it was based on reality. I think it was as things were coming out, maybe reporters went to uh, and yeah. found out. Yeah, yeah. It's based on a true story. So, so nice you know, Connor. <laughs> I know. Thank Keep you, us on Connor, track because you know, that was many brains ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Oh, it's based on a book too. Cool. Uh, but it was oh yes I remember now her son um, it's a mother son and a 50 year search mm. so that sounds real that was a good that mm. I that was good it was very good but it well, was I did heart wrenching not, really, I did not really. know that was part of this book but she really um, shines a very painful and interesting light on that and um, all right that was just a, well I can so, read yeah. it yeah so it was, and his, I don't do a lot of historical right. books and I, this made me think I need to do more of that. So I really enjoyed that part of it. There is something going on with a lot of historical coming out. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just because people just are like, I don't even want to think about the pandemic well, or, or other things going on. Yeah. Other things. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, so that's what I've got. All right. Well, I love anyway. it. Cheers. Thanks. I'm gonna, I wish I had some Reuben dip right here. Oh, it's so good. 
And cheers to Nina de Gramont. D. Gramont. I apologize if I'm not saying her name correctly. She is a, I, I looked her up. She's a professor, um, I believe, of creative writing. Um, and this is not her first book. Yeah. University of North Carolina. <gasps> there you mm-hmm. go. I told you I dictated this to her. And by the way, she, um, yeah, she's a professor of creative writing. So hence the very beautiful writing, but she's okay. written, by the way, I remember this, um, a lot of young adult mo- novels. Oh, wow. And which is your, one of your loves. So, okay. All right, yeah. Nina, maybe we should have her on. I know. I'd we love could, to talk we to could her. Do a because... little, we could do it during like a ball game. I, I'm assuming she's going to be a, like a ball game, you know, when we're playing Duke or something, go Carolina. She's at UNC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> have a have a drink of that Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> I'm like, you can tell which one of us, by the way, is into sports. <laughs> which <one's not. laughs> Well, but if she's at my school, you know. So. Yes. Yes. All yes. right. Okay, so, so talk to me about what you got. Okay, so first off, I can just say that um, this book was great. It's The Violin Conspiracy, which also has a very cool cover. Look, how it's you a can really you see good cover. in the violin. Yes. Oh thing. yes. Oh, no, it's a great cover. Yes. And, um, and Who's the author, it was, Christy? it was, it's Brendan Slocum. Okay. Slocum. And he is a North Carolina boy. What? Well, I think he came from somewhere else, Both of our authors born are somewhere North else, but he grew up in North Carolina and this book. Christy. That, yeah. That keeps happening every month. We have some unusual thing we didn't plan. Isn't that weird? It is Kinda. weird. It is weird. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, it was, it's, he's, okay, let me read you the description from his website. Okay. Okay. Description. Description. I've only had a couple sips, I can tell. (laughs) I've been talking a lot today. Okay. (laughs) So this is The Violin Conspiracy by Brendan Slocum. And it's a riveting story of a young black musician who discovers that his old family fiddle is actually a priceless Stradivarius when it's stolen on the eve of the world's most prestigious classical music competition he risks everything to get it back oh i love that i'm i'm into this yes sorry and it goes through it kind of um it's kind of a unique way that it, the story is told because, you know, it goes back to, you know, like his, how he became a violinist and, and it's just, it's so good because honestly, I mean, his family had zero support for him and except for his grandmother. Mm. And so part of the, part of the food, I thought, because she would always make him pies, I thought, Uh, hi. And then I was like, okay, we could have pie and like a sweet wine even, you know? mm. Um, and the, so that's one choice, which I'm not exactly going with (laughs) because I don't have the sweet tooth. So I, (laughs) the other thing, (laughs) the other thing that he, um, does is when he, um, starts going out on his own branching out of this you know family they're just like almost like a crushing type family you know like Mm. and um and he had ambitions and they just didn't understand that you could maybe be a violinist and make a living or not you know and um he went out to an indian restaurant Oh. So I was like, mm, Indian food oh, is I'd really good. Oh, I'd like to explore good. Indian food more. Yes. And oh, um, so, you know, and I, so I did buy like um, some frozen Indian food today just because I was like, all right, <laughs> I'm not going to go out to a restaurant. But we have a lot of stuff around here, you know, a yeah, lot of good yeah. Indian food restaurants. And, uh-huh. and I do like it. I don't know everything very well, but it it's good, good. And so... Um, and then I was like, okay, they did drink wine. In fact, in one part when they were, um, this was the night before, I don't think I'm giving anything away. Um, cause we already said the violin was stolen. Um, when he's breaking down like what happened and leading up to it and how it happened, which is uh-huh. really 
fun kind of way, you know, unique. Um, he was out with a couple, a few people and they were drinking a bunch of wine and he said something like, well, you know, musicians, they drink a lot. And I'm like, I thought that's what they said about authors, but anyway. <laughs> so <sort of> writers. <laughs> I know. So it's What'd called Red and oh, Butter. I love and that. And it's a Sauvignon Blanc. So we did cho choose the same thing. Why do things. we keep doing this? I don't know, because <laughs> we're just simpatico. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I chose Bread and Butter, because I was just looking, I'm like, okay, I've what it, what would be, you know, because they didn't say the names of any of the wines yeah. or even what kind, but this would probably go good with Indian food, which is very spicy. And also, he, a lot of the book is about money and trying bread to. Bread and butter. Bread very and butter. good. Yep. Very good. And, and so, yeah, and I got to tell you, it is a good book and it's very eye-opening um, because, you know, it is a black guy in North Carolina who play who's playing the violin and that's what he loves he just loves making music and so he is up against a lot of barriers I was going to ask you that when you said he was a black musician I thought okay how many black musicians are there in you know the violin world or in the there aren't classical? there aren't yeah. at least not if you know and i feel yeah. like this book holds fairly true because the actual author brendan slocum is a violinist he works he's a musician really? and he teaches at the university of north carolina greensboro or at least he did um what? Uh, which is like the it's a premier you know music yeah. school orchestra whatever um and um so you know it's it's so fascinating like you dive into it like yeah. you know the um show with the chess world and I'm yeah sorry. the um uh, uh connor uh finding yeah, I, isn't it finding I, someone queen's, queen's gambit, gambit. That is good. And that was such a good, you know, oh, so you it's like you're about... learning about this really yeah. intense, competitive mm -hmm. world that you knew nothing about. Mm -hmm. And he started out, and the, and the thing is, he got this fiddle, and I mean, and I got to tell you, it was passed down. I don't think I don't think I'm giving things away because there's so much richness to this book that I you got to read like it anyway. Right yeah. Um, but... He, he it was his pop pops mm -hmm. and this was his grandmother's grandfather's fiddle oh my goodness he was a slave oh wow okay and so has this so, has the author written other books or is this his debut this is his debut oh I'm i think impressed. he has another one in the works but yes it is really good oh i'd love to talk to him too christy i'm dying to know how you chose this book because i was surprised when that's what you picked okay so you know i don't ever know because i know that you're very on top of things more than me on what's coming no. out and so i just kind of like keep going on like what's the best books to read right now what's mm -hmm. the you know and i go on all these different websites and this is actually a emblem um, what is that? good morning america uh, pick. okay okay and so so that's how it i guess popped up mm -hmm. and then um i you know I was like, read the description and I'm like, okay, North Carolina and, you know, a violinist. And it's so funny because my college roommate, Molly, shout out to Molly. Hey, Molly. Um, <laughs> she, she was the oboist at oh, UNC oh. Chapel Hill. Um, okay. So, you know, and I All remember her North talking Carolina. about how Greensboro was a really good one too, you know. Okay. And she, and when she got the scholarship, she was like, she didn't realize there were different schools. <laughs> but regardless, she was my roommate. So I, I find it so interesting. I'm just going to um, segue a little bit that we both picked. Um, North. We, there are so many North Carolina connections to our, our books today. I know. Interesting. I know. That is love, weird. We're just yeah. kind of weird that way. We're. I would love to have a conversation with both of these authors. We'll have to talk to them about mm -hmm. being in Parkinson conversation next um, season because uh, it was such a fun, interesting reads. And both with such good historical information, too, which is. Yes. Another... Yes. 
I'm just saying. Yeah, because both of them, <laughs> I mean, this wasn't historical fiction, but it had a lot of history in there. Yeah. yeah Some of I it was, that. it was just, it was heart wrenching, like you're saying. Yours oh. was the same way. I mean, I, I guess ooh. all across the world, and we're seeing it now, is just, yeah. there's good and bad. And, a lot of hard stuff that's why you have to read good books to lift good you up books you know i truly I, I the pandemic for me made me believe more in the value of writing and reading than i ever did because i for me i know a lot of people couldn't even read during the pandemic but it was like a, a welcome place to go yes and i mean i read so much and it wasn't just because we read for work, you know, I right, mean, right. I, I just, it, it's a excellent, it's like a meditation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We got to get that reading journal out. Honestly, got to get Christy, people doing it. I just put that on my list yesterday. Actually, I could show you in my list. Yes. But, um, yeah, we, we got, we got to spread it. We got to spread our knowledge because it really <laughs> helped. Did it? It helped during, yeah, we got, we got a little, we got a little brain cells left. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, this has been super fun. I yes. love your selection. Thanks. Love. I loved yours too. Thanks. I'm going to have an affair just so I can make <laughs> the title. <laughs> um, stay tuned, everybody. And anybody who's interested, <laughs> Christy's taking applicants uh, right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> better than the mo uh, most recent gentleman you met i'm just saying <laughs> okay all right so listen um check our website and our social media posts please yep. follow and like yes. we love comments yes. love 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 i know and keep yeah. updated give us some ideas for gob rex that you guys like i mm. know um and we always give episode highlights and we always do giveaways each month so mm -hmm. two great giveaways every month. As a matter uh, of fact, you know what? We hmm. had some GOB. I mean, we had some recommendations of books and I forgot to look at them from some people that sent well, them in. Well, I'm going to gonna look for next month so that I can for next be like, month. yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Till next well, time. Guess what? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>